So almost ready to get underway and on the hill Matt Waldron Chris what should we keep an eye on here with him. Well no doubt about it he's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down now he's got good stuff he's just got to be able to have confidence trusted and really go after hitters not nibble trusted his stuff off, can have late life in Arizona. miss barrels of bats. Cattell Marte up to the plate Cattell as he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center they get the out on Marte one away time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup the sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today Chris yeah and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back and for hitters you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you you've got this other force coming against you so important to try to get on top of the ball, the ball. in terms of hitting line drives you know, maybe ball. really no hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating you just hit one on the screws think it's going to go out of the ballpark and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. One out base is empty. The one one is fouled off. And it skips in the dirt. Two two. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Oh, you may think, man, that pitch was right on a tee for him, but I don't care where a knuckleball ends up. Those things dance all over the place. And even when they pass right through the hitting zone, squaring it up or even getting a good piece of it can be a tough task. Two out space is empty. And it's fouled away. I'm so glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Got him looking with the knuckler for strike three. End of a half inning of play, no score. Back here in San Diego and pitching in this game Ryan Nelson Chris how about a scouting report. Well you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point you have to forget about your own individual stats and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that you'll look up and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. The pitch. Jerkson Profar. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Profar hitting leadoff in today's game. And though usually in left field today, he's the designated hitter. Next offering misses down and away. Some guys don't like not being able to play defense because it helps him to stay in the rhythm. So for him to be the DH, we'll see if he gets a routine together. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Here's a one two lined and that's a base hit so a man on base to start the inning just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field there's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate doesn't come naturally for most hitters and the batter will be Fernando runner on the go Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Guriel makes the catch, and there's one down. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. Of course, one of the best players in the game today, Fernando Tatis Jr. 
And Boog, he's their team leader in home runs, so you know the pitchers on that other side, man. They took a lot of time preparing for him in that pregame meeting. You know, he's got a lot of pop, and it's real pop. It's not fluky at all. He can absolutely change the outlook of a game very quickly. So watch out when he steps in. That one the other way. Marte, one yep. second, and that's two. We'll move to the second now at Petco Park. No score. Back here at Petco Park. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. Christian Walker. And the right hater back to work. Just oh, off the outside edge. Ball one. Yeah. A bit behind with that swing. One it's strike one. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog. Joey Mack. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. And that's off the inside edge. You're Two one. and one. And that's in for a strike. Goes down looking. Well, they get the strike out there, and what kind of stood out to me was that they weren't shying away from contact. Every single pitch was in the strike zone, and that tells me they wanted to attack him, and it paid off. Here's Guriel. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. No ball. One strike. Second inning here, no score. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swing and a ball popped up. Cronenworth settles underneath it. And there's two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. The right fielder. So up next, 31. Jake McCarthy. Jake McCarthy. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. Oh. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, oh. call timeout, do whatever it takes. And the 1 0. Ball. That one pushed foul. Here's a 2 1. He swings and fouls one off. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Brings it in, and that'll do it. Three up, three down for him there. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. Here's Donovan Solano. Here comes a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Swing and a miss struck him out. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. And there's a foul ball. Cronenworth 
a seventh round pick by the Rays in 2015 out of the University of Michigan where he was a two way guy and in fact the Rays used him that way. Way out front for strike two. Quickly in an 0 2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Oh, look at the stop. From his knees, the throw. In time. Got him. That is good. That's your stop. That was an impressive diving stop. Singy, let's dive into the numbers. Statcast assemble. Yeah, Boog, a really good effort just to get his glove to the ball. He found a way to do it and just produce a strong throw as well. So that right there is a great play all the way around. Just really smooth. Now at the plate, Ha Sung Kim gets the call, and that's strike one. Two outs. Ball oh. one there. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And the pitch. Upstairs. Oh. Popped up. And that is that. Padres down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to him now. Hey, Eugenio Suarez. Waldron back to work. Fastball for a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Swings through that. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Just a fastball that got away from him there. He didn't have the right finish to it. Good extension that he needed to get to his target. This is Corbin Carroll. In the air, left side. Couple of steps in. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Batting up. The Alexander. Here's the shortstop at the play. Blaze Alexander. This one in the air right field. Fair ball. The throw to third. Save. Hey. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Here's Cattell Marte. Not close with that one. And that is ball one. The pitch. Hit on the ground might be two. Quickly to second for one. And that's two. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn. And they're out of this jam. Back here in San Diego. Set for the bottom of the third. Stepping in for San Diego. Jackson Merrill. And a pitch. 
Ball, ball one, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. Ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Next offering is in for a strike. Fouled off. He was late. Ripped on a line. And that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. So digging in, Jose Azokar. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. And it stays fair. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Nelson throws the first. He's and he's back safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Ah. Down the middle for a strike. Going one. That's two. And here it comes. And fouled off. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Profar climbs in on that left side. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. There's a strike. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Profar gets a piece there. The Padres with a chance to score first here in the last half of the third. One, two. In the dirt, blocked. Tag safe at second. A good hustle to move up. That's a wild pitch. Two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it. Oh. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. That just misses. 1-0. and A lot of pitchers have caught on to how good he is hitting the first pitch. Smart to avoid the zone right there. And the righty deals. And that one fouled off. Still tied at zero, last of the third. No, Next pitch is outside. And a 
right hander deals. Swing and a high fly ball left field. And they take care of Tatis for the out. And the inning is over. So they strand a pair. On to inning number four. No score. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Number 14, Gabriel Moreno. The wind of the pitch. Line drive. Come on. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Here's Jack Peterson. Caught looking his first time up. These two offenses can put up runs in a hurry. That's a strike. Peterson goes six foot one, 220 pounds, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. That one clips the outside corner. That's strike two. You know, Bruce, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And two away now. <laughs> well, obviously the knuckleball, it's not a pitch designed to blow by hitters, but you'll see this every once in a while. You give up on that pitch at the plate, and then the last moment it darts back into the strike zone, and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time. Looks like it's 100 miles per hour, and I tell you what, I know from personal experience it's not a good feeling. Walker stands in now, looks at that one inside. Two down, nobody on. In the air, left field, down the line. And makes the play, and that's out number three. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Bottom four, so digging in now for San Diego, Manny Machado. Manny Machado. And a pitch. There's a strike. You know, these Padres, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much that's of anything yeah. with those what locations, and that's been true again today. The next pitch misses. And a count one and two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating yeah. right out of your hand. Suarez, throw to first, in time. Machado is out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Donovan Solano. Up the middle, Marte fires over to first. Already two gone here in the home floor. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. Grounded out his first time up. And immediately yep. pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Ball up one. and in. One ball, one strike. Ah. Swing and a miss as he was out one front ball. that time. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That's got a chance. And he brings it in on the warning track. No runs, no hits, no errors. We played four. We're tied, nothing, nothing.
And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Waldron back to work. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Well, these Diamondbacks, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at bats. And I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They really haven't worked many deep counts or long at bats. And that's fine if you're having a lot of success. But at this point, I think it's time to make an adjustment. Gets a piece and stays alive. The one, two. Good eye in that spot. It's a good take. In the air, left field. He's got it. One up, one down. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Jake McCarthy. Fly to left his first time. Just missed. And there's the strike. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Foul ball there. Towards first, Solano. Throws the first in time. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Hit by a pitch his first time up. That's in there. That's strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Solano drifts towards it, makes the catch, and that is that. So they've been held scoreless through five, and we still have no score. Back here at Petco here Park, bottom of the here? inning, stepping in for San Diego, Hassan Kim. The right-hander back to work. That one hooked foul. You know, these Padres just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're one seeing ball. it very well one as strike. a group. The pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Now this is in the air down the line. And it's off the wall, but foul. The one-two. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Jackson Merrill will hit next. And he's already singled in this game. High fly ball down the left field line. Drops into the glove. Up next to the Padres, the left fielder, Jose. Azucar. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jose Azokar. One for one with a single so far. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball's going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. That clips the corner. That missed by a lot. 
and it's one and two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. All tied up, last half of inning number five. Misses off the play, and the count's even at two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ball three. In the dirt. Runner holds, and it's a full count. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Here's the catcher to hit, Kyle Higashioka. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Padres leave one, and we are still scoreless. All set for the Pretty top of the, the sixth. Diamond. Here's the center, the fielder, center fielder, Corbin Carroll. Corbin Carroll. And he deals. And a foul ball. The 01. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. The pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. Slings it across. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Next to hit for Arizona, Blaze Alexander. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Now it's belted, deep to left, way out of here, home run. He made him pay for that one, his fourth home run of the season. The Diamondbacks score first, it's one nothing. That's a fun way to take the lead, just hit one out of the park. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. No. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. You know, the first manager to ever win a game here at Petco Park was Tony Gwynn. Yes, Tony Gwynn. They had a college baseball tournament here in March 2004, and Tony managed San Diego State to a win. No question about this one. It's out of here. Another one. Back-to-back -back homers. His 13th home run of the season, and they boost their lead. It's 2-0. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. So one out, nobody on. Next to hit, Gabriel Moreno. Hammered down the line. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. One out, runner at second. And Jack Peterson stands in. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. 
And that one ripped to left. And that's a fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. The run comes in from second, and they're up by three. And Jock is going to have himself a double. Now nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Matt Waldron won't go any further, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Steven Colin gets the ball now. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And it's second with one away. Christian Walker now at the plate. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Oh one. Next pitch is downstairs. Activity in the bullpen. Aniel De Los Santos appears to be getting loose. Already three runs across in the frame, and we're the top half of the sixth. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Man at second. Now fly ball to right center. Merrill on the move to the alley. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Now back. Left Lourdes Guriel. Here's Lourdes Guriel Jr. Right through there for a strike. They always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. Two outs and one in scoring position. That one no. close ruled a ball. And it's a ball to strike. Kicks and deals. And another ball. Oh. Next offering is down low. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. And strike two. Man on second, two down. And that's ball too four. high, ball four. The right and now the right fielder, Jake McCarthy. Jake McCarthy. Hard hit right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 3 0. Major League Baseball is on the show. And we're back. Here we go, bottom six. Now the DH for the Padres. Jerickson Profar. Profar. the pitch well after Ball putting one. up a nice inning on offense got some runs across this is where you look for the starter to go out there have a shutdown inning don't give that other team any hope uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning get the bats back up there while they're hot 
Up the middle. Marte throws the first in time. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Now batting the right fielder. Fernando. So with one down, it'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Hit hard on the ground is short. Tosses to first. Out. Two up, two down. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Machado. Two outs, base is empty. Now Machado up here. Hammered on a line to the left. Base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Now Challenged back. him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Donovan Solano, the next up for the Padres. There's the strike up high, and it's 0-1. Machado leads off first with two down to the inning. The 0-2. Oh, and down on strikes. That ends the inning. One left for San Diego. They trail it here 3-0. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Angel De Los Santos. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Eugenio Suarez stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He's over one. The why to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. De Los Santos, a 6'3 righty, 28 years old. And they went out and made a trade for him last yeah. season. And a swing and a miss there. Okay. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Popped up on the left side of the infield. Machado makes the grab one down. And now the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. That one a little bit high, and it's 1-0. And that drops in for a strike. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Now it's the shortstop, Blaze Alexander. He had a big swing back in the sixth. The solo shot that figures into this game in a pretty big way right now. Yeah, that was a big swing of the bat, and he's going to be looking for more, trying to add on to this lead right here. Oh. Off the mark there. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. One ball. One Two down, strike. nobody on. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. Ball. The shortstop takes a ball. Two outs. Here's a chopper to short. 
Kim gets it to first, Out. and Arizona is set down one, two, three. Nothing across here this half. Seventh inning stretch time. Gets the Diamondbacks three, and the Padres nothing. Back here in San Diego, bottom of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. The Padres in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. That one fouled off. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone here. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. And now the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The Diamondbacks leading by three. Here at the bottom of the seven. And he That's lays down a bunt. Field two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Fly ball down the line. McCarthy settles under it. Two down. The center fielder, number three. Jackson Merrill, the next to hit. One for two. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. No the Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Paul Seawall up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. Man supply also getting ready. And the 0 1. Out to short. Over to first. That's the third out. Padres go down quietly. They trail in this one 3 0. Here at Petco Park. And now it's the switch the hitting second, second baseman, Cattel uh, Marte. Marte. De Los Santos back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Right handed reliever. That's off the mark, and it's one and one. Ball. Just oh. missed. Two balls, one strike. Kicks and fires. Two. Two balls, two strikes. To the right side, Cronenworth gathers He's and out. throws to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Good slider well, inside right there. Batter the fighting to get there, just rolled out. over it, got the ground Marino. ball. Now the D-backs catcher, Gabriel Moreno, one for three. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. Ground ball up the middle. Kim with the throw to first. Gets the catcher by a step. Two outs, base is empty. And now Jack Peterson. No. And a good eye there. Ball and that two. misses off the outside edge. 
The wind to kick the 2 0. This one lifted in the air, left field. Corrals it. And that is that. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Jose Azucar. And a pitch. Nelson into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. At the belt and fires. Pitch count in great shape. It seems you might have a chance to finish it. And here it comes. Bounced up the middle. Alexander throws the first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, to make an accurate throw across the diamond. And yeah, the batter now, Kyle Higashioka. No, that's, it. that's inside. And that's ball one. Base is empty one away. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. That's that one called the strike. And now it's even one and one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Here comes a pitch. Out to short. Can't glove it cleanly, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. The batter, number 10, designated hitter. So the lineup flips over. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Just off the inside edge. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Fastball in the corner at the knees, and it's a strike. Line drive, base hit. And that gives Fernando Tatis Jr. a chance to hit with two out. He was all now over that one. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. First pitch just misses. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, get a lockdown closer ready to come in. That's hard hit on the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. Padres leave one. Still down 3-0. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Johnny Brito. He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. And now it's Christian Walker. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Christian Walker. And a pitch. Way wow. outside, and that's ball one. High fly ball out to center field. Cronenworth sizes this one up. Makes the catch for the out. Lourdes Goriel Jr. stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Swing. 
Line drive. Oh, he gloves it. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. And now here is Jake McCarthy. No, Missed with a changeup. Ball. ball one. One ball, no strike. And the pitch oh. off the plate inside down to an oh well he's so great about hitting the ball the other way he gets those arms extended so right there just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage two down nobody on that one fouled off two and two this guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. And the 2-2. Swing and a pop-up. Machado brings it in for the third out. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Paul Seawald. And I can't imagine now, any save is an easy done. one. You're holding Number a small 30. lead on the scoreboard, Paul. and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at-bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Three, four, five due up for the home team. Here's Manny Machado to start it off. The pitch. Swings and misses. It's 0-1. Oh, no, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And that one wrapped foul. And a pitch. Push Struck through. him out looking. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out. You get settled in. You feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Solano right. batting with one down takes a strike. And that one clips the corner. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. The pitch. Oh. That one missed. This to third. Suarez. Fires across the diamond. Two up, two down. The batter, number nine. Second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Last chance for the Padres. Jake Cronenworth getting ready to hit. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Fastball in for a strike, going one. And yeah, there's a the ball. One one. Two down, nobody on. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Seawall is just one strike away. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. And the righty deals. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. He's got it. Ball game. And the Diamondbacks claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. A shutout in this one, 3-0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.